Hello and our roundup today sees the Black Caviar train well and truly being stoked up towards her return to racing at Flemington on Saturday. She hit the track at Caulfield this morning very early. She's usually the first to step out at track work under the cover of darkness and she looked pretty good in her last main hit out towards the Lightning Stakes coming up in a few days time. Peter Moody seemed happy enough. We also caught up with jockey Luke Nolan. She had a spin here on Saturday morning, worked over a soft half mile and then she went a more serious half mile here this morning, out wide on the course probably, she went a half mile in about 50 and uh, cruised up nice, uh, very pleased. She's in the best physical shape uh, injury wise, uh, at the start of probably the last three or four preparations we've uh, had various niggling injuries, this time around we've had nil. Um, you saw her here at Caulfield a couple of weeks ago or ten days ago, whatever it was, you know I don't think she's presented any better than that for a long time. Uh, Really pleased with it. Listen, I can't fold her. After Ascot, we weren't sure she was going to make it back, so it's good to see her back at the races. And um, the camp's confident we're on top of most of her issues, and, um, and she's happy to be here. So happy to be happy and looking forward to Saturday. You ride uh, all or most of her work. How is she feeling compared to the past? Oh, look, she I wouldn't say any better, but she feels good, and she's this nice improvement in her still. But. Um, from my from my standpoint, I'm I'm very comfortable with the way she's feeling and and um, and her her willingness to to, to work. Uh, so she's um, she's right on target for Saturday. Big day coming up at Mornington tomorrow with the Mornington Cup and a couple of other black type races. Glenn Boss will be riding Tuscan Fire in the feature. He appears to be well in on the weights. There's a few that are well in the weights, but he looks like one of the horses that's going to. He's got a competitive weight. Uh, you know he's just going to run the trip out strong. He's drawn awkward, but he's a go-forward horse in great form, expecting to be in. I'd be surprised he's not in the first three. And of the two other black-type races, there's the Inglis Premier for the two-year-olds. It's worth a quarter of a million dollars. Stephen Theodore, he's very confident about Cracker Roadie. The stables uh, hasn't hidden their thoughts about this horse all the way through the spring. I made note that it was the best horse I've got in the stables, and I continue to spruik that uh, the preparation's gone perfect. It's very hard for any horse, let alone a two-year-old, to you wouldn't change anything. But uh, I wouldn't. It's just he's just going swimmingly. I brought him here for a trial last Wednesday. He did that in sensational time. Craig Williams was happy with it, and it uh, puts us in good stead not only for Wednesday but ten days later into the Blue Diamond. And he's also got some confidence about last gift in the Hariba Stakes. Exciting horse. Um, I wish I had two more days up my sleeve. He, uh, I've only had the horse two weeks. I would have loved one more gallop, but I brought him here Wednesday um, and give him a look at Mornington. Michael Rod was just uh, glowing report with his with his trial. Unfortunately, he didn't get Michael's weight. Uh, so Stephen Baster is the lucky recipient of the ride. He'll look the winner for a long, long way. If the last 50 metres could be the telling time, but that's only one gallop short. Join us for the highlights tomorrow afternoon of Mornington Cup Day, a big million dollar day happening there. That's the roundup for this Tuesday. Till next time, enjoy your racing.